<laughs> All right. Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Hello there, my dear viewers. This is another game from my childhood, and this game is called... Donkey Kong Country 3. Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. It rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? I have had a weird, interesting memory with this game. Feels... I don't know. Weird. I did come back to it a while ago. Played it in my spare time. Realized, though... I guess it was something. I don't know. But, regardless, I'm here. And today... I shall be streaming myself. Playing Donkey Kong Country 3. No more repeating points or bullshits. Let's just get straight to it. Alright, start. Right. Oh, hey. Alright. Uh. Alright, we're going to be doing this a little bit differently. Now, you're probably going to be seeing these save files and wondering to yourself. Holy shit, Max, what the fuck? How did you get 1 or 5%? And to answer that question, uh, I'm going to go look it up. <laughs> hold on, hold on, uh, hold on a second, uh, I have to remember how to enter cheat mode so I can remember how to enter my cheat codes in. Uh, hold the phone. All right, L R R L R R L R L R. All right, <laughs> let me go check my input again. All right, so, <laughs> all right, so I have L and R bound to F and G respectively. Uh, F G G F G G. FG, FG. Alright, so. FGG, FGG, FG, FG. Is it active? Uh. Ah. Uh, FGG, FGG, FG, FG. Uh Okay, how the hell do I get confirmation I'm in cheat mode again? Alright, hold on. Alright, I must be doing this incorrectly. Uh right. Wait a second. No! Oh fuck! No, I did Oh god do it. Uh all right, I think I might just remember how to activate cheat mode. Hold on. What? <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I think I figured it out. Uh, I'm going to erase this one. F G G F G G F G F G. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we fucking go. All right. Um, enter code. So we're going to be doing Donkey Kong Country 3 differently, and it's going to answer the question of how I got 105% on this second save file. So for starters, I'm going to put in, uh, where is it, where's the T at? There we go, uh, T, U, numbers, all right, uh, F, S S T. There we go. F G G F G G F G F G, and another code. Uh. Hmm. 
All right, another cheat code just to probably make it feel like I'm doing something substantial in a higher difficulty. Oh, like this is actually fucking different for once. Uh, co color, color. Wait, oh, wait, I'm going down. Uh, color, color. There we go. All right, now let's uh. Select your name. Hmm. What name do I want to select? Or make? Let's see, I can only have five letters. Hmm. Alright, name picking time. Uh. Alright, hold on, hold on. Alright, that's my name! No! Oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, fuck, wrong one. Uh, there we go. No! <laughs> that's the name of my save file! No! There, it's me, Mrs. Wrinkly Kong. I found life too hectic at school, with all those naughty Kremlings pestering me all the time. If you need to save your game, Dixie, call me here anytime, and I'll record your progress on my new Bit Me What's It machine for you. <laughs> oh God, damn it! All right. All right. It's good to have a visit from you, Dixie. All you ever see on television these days is repeats. Yes. All you ever see on television these days is repeats. Alright. Let's see. Actually, we can't even explore around much, so let's just go to Funky's Rentals. So, the quirk with the toughest cheat code, after I talked to Funky... Yo, Dixie! What's happening? I've set my smoking new boat shop on this island. I've also brought your excellent cousin, Giddy Gong, along for the ride. Don't forget my little acting blunder. He may be a toddler, but if you let him throw, out, throw you upwards, you'll almost reach the stars. Oh, yeah. If you throw him, his humongous body can smash to the floor of Samarius. Trust me on this. I've been paid for this. Catch you later, Kongs! So, yeah, this is Donkey Kong Country 3. Anyways, uh, if you're wondering what the hell Toughest does, well, you, uh, the quirk of Toughest is that it removes almost all the DK barrels from the game, and you, uh, don't have any checkpoint barrels. So, uh, these levels are going to be pretty long, pretty infuriating, but most importantly, Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. But most importantly, <laughs> uh, we're gonna be suffering. I'm going to get a hold of life. And addition- and a one additional life. Uh, it's just a little weird quirky game. Yeah, the Arcade Card Country 3 is a weird quirky game, I guess. I guess you could say. Ah, uh, right, uh... And what Toughest also does, in addition to removing the star barrels, the checkpoint barrels, is, uh, well, it increases your completion rate by, like, 2%. And you get a good secret, and you get a pretty fun bonus in the ending, ending screen, the results screen, if you can manage to obtain 100% completion on it. So yeah, for all intents and purposes, I, uh, this is just going to be a little bit difficult. 
just a little bit difficult. All right? Uh, just a little bit difficult. You know, also the one point quirk I noticed is that the DK coins are completely... Don't really have uh, both sides when they rotate. Whenever they rotate, they just rotate to the front side, not the back side. So you never necessarily see the front side, so... I guess it's pretty, pretty neat to see that uh, detail fixed up. <laughs> that interestingly weird detail fixed up. Oh, hey, bonus! Gimme. Grab 15 bananas. Alright, grab these bananas. I have hearing chattering in the background. Uh, hopefully you don't mind that one because... Eh, that's just my brother and his fiance talking in the background about Yakuza. And I'm just gonna pray them talking about Yakuza doesn't get my ass sued by Sega, or even on their bad side. <laughs> yeah, I guess there's that. And, uh... Yeah, this game has been a weird relic of my childhood. I never actually got to beat it as a young kid, but years later, I managed to actually beat it as a 10-something person on the uh, emulator on the Wii. So that was something. And, uh, it's just been a relatively weirdly interesting game. I guess you could say. Alright, Lakeside Limbo completed! The farthest I ever gotten as a kid was, uh... Uh... The Factory World. One of... One of two worlds I could pick from. It was... I think it was most especially that... Uh, factory level. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I'm having the hiccups. I should not be having those hiccups. I am. Um, also, I have no idea if I point if I uh, made this point earlier, but I had to make the switch to uh, SNES 9X. No wait, switch from B SNES to SNES 9X for the sake of performance, I guess you could say. But also like uh, so that I guess I could bring a much more decent stream, because when I look back at my footage of uh, Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2, I realized, oh my god, it's laggy. How the fu- I should not have ignored those lag warnings, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Uh. So, I made the switch to SNES 9X because I knew- I knew SNES 9X would be, while not cycle accurate to the SNES, it would certainly be a tad more faster than, say, using something, I guess, relatively taxing on the system, on my, uh, computer alone. Uh, alright. Continue on. Oh, hey! Blast barrels. I did not mean to pick up that one up balloon. Didn't know it was right there, but I guess it's good to know. Alright, uh, grab this. Nope. Oh, whoa! <laughs> made it! I made it. Find the coin! Alright, I'm gonna find it. Alright, got four bonus coins, nice. Just be careful and patient. Alright. Uh, let's see. You know, I'm disappointed the blast barrels don't get used as often as in... Uh, this game as I would have liked for it, I guess. Just feels like, uh... It feels like this game is going to stray away... Feels like this game strays away from... One of the essentials of what made... 
Donkey Kong Country Circ Raid was that it had these... All these base mechanics that when they, uh, um, I guess, mingled together, or like whenever they focused on these mechanics in new and interesting ways, it really... It really felt like, uh... The game realized itself, you know, like, it was realizing itself straight to the player. But in Donkey Kong Country 3, it feels like, okay, here's these base mechanics, and then some other gimmicks here and there, and that'll be about it. No experimenting with the mechanics we've established. No, I guess, uh, truly good mechanics that sticks with you. They're just there. But that's kind of the weirdly bad part that makes this game stray from the other games in this trilogy. And Wrinkly Save Cave. Mm -mm. Make sure you wipe your feet and wash your hands before saving your game, Kongs! Would you like to save your game? Yes. I would like to save my game that is clearly labeled no. Don't worry, Kongs. I'm always ready to help. Just try not to bother me when I'm exercising. Alright. Oh yeah, also the cave right here. Oh yeah, that re oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, I'm gonna get my notepad out. I wonder if I should also show my inputs as well. All right, got my notepad out. I'm going to reread my inputs again so I don't uh lose my mind. All right, so B is Z. Oh good. All right, B equals. C, uh, C equals, uh, hold the phone. No, wait, wait a minute, no, I got that wrong, uh, A, E, oh my god, all right, hold on a second, sorry, I'm pausing the stream, uh, Y equals X, because of course, and X, no, X equals V. There we go. I guess that'll help when I have to do shit. Uh, let's see. I wonder if I should show my input. Let's see, where, where do you get, where do you do that at, actually? There we go, input display. Alright, uh, let's see, just, uh, stretch and compress. Or actually, wait. Alright. Alright. I hope no one minds me showing my inputs. Alright, Smuggler's Cove. B. A. B. Y. <laughs> oh, hey! It, it smells baby! Like this fucking kitty con right next to me! Alright. Alright. Z. Alright. B. A. B. X. There we go. Now that just got simple. That got very simple for us. Alright. Anyways, that's one banana bird collected, which is good news. And I'm just gonna... Close this shit out. And maybe pray I don't have to look up, pull up a walkthrough. Anyways, um, I also neglected to uh, do this prior hand, but there's also Brother Bears! Which is an interesting spin for a game of this caliber, of this type, I guess. Barnacles Island! Mm -mm. Hello there! How's it going, Kongs? Barnacles me name! And I shop home here in this shell shop. This bird's a friendly fellow, isn't he? He flew once, 
So I decided to keep him. Hey now, don't leave my island! I'm Barnacle! I just want some friends to talk to! <laughs> Alright, title trouble. What's with the steel keg, I wonder? Oh, wait. It's you. Bye bye! <laughs> oh! I fucked that one up! Hold on, let me turn on this fan so I can laugh harder. Alright. <laughs> How did I- Oh, I fucking overshot it! There we go. Alright, let's pretend I did that perfectly, okay? <laughs> I did not make a single mistake there whatsoever. Oh, hey. This bit. Oh, yeah, that's right. Kitty can also water skip. Oh, well, let me show it off to you. Also, there is these uh, poor man's answers to uh, the enemies that hide in the barrel. All right. Ah, shit. All right. Die. Oh, no, stop. No, oh. stop. So yeah, kitty can water skip. What? what? I just meant to show. Up. Oh! oh. <laughs> I just wanted to show off his water skipping. No, no, hold the phone. I want the shop is water skipping. <laughs> Not a dwarf to the end of the <coughs> Oh my god! I I tried to show off Kitty's water skipping ability. Once that happened was I got warped straight to the end of the level. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! I did not expect that to happen! Fuck it. It doesn't matter. Let's just go. I might have forgotten to grab Vanguard, but you know what? That doesn't matter. There he stars! Oh yay, these shell bastards. Alright, number five. Got five bonus coins. You know, now that I think about it, I probably, uh, should have went and looked for Endguard, huh? Fuck. Okay. No, no, no. No, no, get killed by a fucking literal clownfish. Because of course. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I can't get the secret here because I don't have Kitty Kong. Uh, let's just die. Oh yeah, that's right, I got rid of the DK barrels! Oh, that was my fucking fault, huh? Fuck, that was my fault. I should not have got rid of Giddy Kong! Oh. Okay, that was, that was my bad. I, I clearly should not be, I clearly should not be getting rid of, uh, Kongs that are essential to my stop, my shit. Oh, hey! <laughs> you didn't even move a centimeter! Now I get to kill you! Alright. Uh, nope, nope, careful. I shall send your condolences to your. Uh. Wife. Your. Alligator wife. Yeah. Your crocodile. Your crocodilian wife. 
Uh, and I shall send my condolences to Dixie Kong after she ran away from me because she got fucking smacked by a fish. Uh, pick you up. What? Oh no, no, no! Oh god damn it! Kill me. Oh my god! Why is the secret such a bitch to get? Okay, again. You know, the water effect is uh, pretty nice and all. I like the effect they've got going on here. But also, also, why is it a pain in the ass to get this second bonus barrel? Why is it a pain in the ass to get this second barrel? Oh my god. I've also just realized this will likely be one of the... This will likely be the midway point? And so by removing the midway points, I kind of made it a bit harder to get the secret barrel. Because, uh, I have to get back there. God damn it. No. <laughs> no! Oh, no! Wait, why am I dying? I should be... I should just quit the level. That would save me so many lives. Alright. All right, grab that. Grab that K. All right, go, 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 go. I'm not gonna lie. Should I just go after the secret with Dixie Kong? Should I just go after her with Dixie Kong? Because Dixie Kong's water skipping is just... I don't know. Too flimsy to reliably... <laughs> too tight to reliably time. Especially in a scenario like this. When the camera isn't honest with where the hell I'm at on the Y layer. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Got the second secret. Bash the baddies. Unless I fuck this one up. There we go. That's, uh, that's a bonus level done. Oh, even if I did fuck it up anyways, I could just still, uh, redo it. And is that all? Is that all the bonus spells? That is. Okay. Taking a little drink here. Okay. Ah, oh, all right. All right, skittish row. Get us row. All right. Okay. Oh, hey, it's snowing. Well, it's gonna be snowing soon. You know, remember vine barrels? Feels like the barrels in this game are like a slightly better vine barrel because they can still roll but they just break imme immediately upon hitting an enemy doesn't feel a bit fun doesn't feel a little bit fun having to uh throw <laughs> a fragile barrel around anymore bash the baddies no fuck 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 Hey, bring me back here. 
No. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No. No. Got it. That's nice. All right. Let's continue on. You ever wonder why the fuck they advertise Kitty Kong more than Dixie Kong, considering the considering this is her game? Yeah, but have we not forgotten about the boys who perhaps love to see girls do shit? <laughs> like you with Savannah? Just any kind of shit! You know, instead of just being a one-dimensional character. <laughs> All right, I think this is a batch the baddies thing. I did not, I was not paying attention. Oh, it's just find the coin. Ah, well, might as well just get rid of them all <laughs> for the sake of it. All right, all right cool. Already on 19 lives. Ah, I remember. When, I remember when barrels used to just roll straight through baddies. Eh. Uh, the fact that these barrels now just break upon hitting a baddie is, uh... I don't know. I don't know about that. This feels a little duller, you know? Anyways, we have cleared Skidus Row. Ah. Uh, these first vaults were... Interesting to be, I guess. I guess was certainly something. Feels like, uh, I swear this game, the only reason this game probably came out, or like, was developed in the first place was because, like, probably not only was the big names working on N64 stuff, which, uh, kind of slightly doomed this game a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, in terms of, uh, I guess, sales and stuff, but also, the fact that, uh, I guess it's just the fact that, uh, it feels like a game Rareware would have made to flex their muscles on how much they have been able to conquer the limitations of the SNES. The, the SNES, like, was, is their playground now. They know how to do shit with it now. To impress everyone. That's what this game feels like to me. Feel, feels like with all these impressive gimmicks in the background and such, like, this? Are you seeing this right now? This light effect, this this split, this uh, rotating light effect, feels it definitely feels like uh, it just feels like uh, something that would make the flexor knowledge muscles with you know, and uh, and that's probably why this game feels a little bit shallow because uh. Because it feels like a weird experiment first and uh, Donkey Kong Country game second, in my honest opinion. Not that this game is bad. I mean, there's a few occasional bad stuff, I guess. It's just that, uh, well, just doesn't live up to what the standards that Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2. Yes, I'm saying Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2 had set, like the uh, stage that uh, Donkey Kong Country 1 2 had set for, uh, I guess, something like this. And I mean, I know comparisons can sometimes be a bad thing, but I mean, I guess when you're just selling a game, a third game, in an expected trilogy of games. <laughs> Uh, it just kind of feels weird. Weirdly. I guess, uh... Weird. Oh yeah, uh... Oh wait. There we go. It just feels like, uh... Donkey Kong Country 1 all over again. Warts and all. But, uh... But then you mix in the refine refinery of Donkey Kong Country 2, and then you get this weird combination, you know? 
find the coin. Find the coin. I was trying to weave through those buzzes. God damn it. It feels like if you mixed uh, all the good and bad of Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2 with each other, along with the weirdness of it, and God damn it, I keep fucking up on this bonus stage. Because, like, uh, Donkey Kong Country 1, I guess, had that interesting atmosphere to it, and but also it felt... How do I say it? Pulled back? Felt pulled back in comparison to the straight-up fantasy, fantasy-like, dark fantasy-like vibes Donkey Kong Country 2 gave off. Complete with the fact that the Kremlings in that second game were very threatening. And, uh... <laughs> where the Kremlings in that game were pretty threatening. They had actual weaponry. It was all themed around pirates. And I probably get that this is probably about the Industrial Revolution and all that from... Britain, so I could probably get a degree of understanding of the aesthetics, but it feels like they uh, took a few steps back, you know, from Donkey Kong Country 2. It feels like they took a few steps back from Donkey Kong Country 2. Well, would you believe it? Hello, gongs! Bubble welcome along to my all new bonus tent! My show is on the road, and it's in every land! The cost of this game? Two coins in the hand! There are some great prizes on offer today, so come on in and choose to play. Just do that and you're away! So come on, Kongs, and have a go! You could well win, you never know! Uh, I, I think the weird thing about this game is that... Uh, like, it just feels like it's... Okay, Kongs, it's your choice today. Which game would you like to play? Race to point five. It just feels like they threw ideas at the wall. Like pancakes. It just feels like they threw ideas at the wall. Like a goddamn pancake. Seeing and expecting to see how that idea would stick. Before moving on to throwing another idea at the wall. I.e. the pancake. And seeing how that would stick, you know? Head to head. Today's contest is a rowing game with a different. God damn it, how can you. So, you've reached the bonus game, then, have you? It's not a simple game of questions and answers this time, though. Now you've got to beat yours truly if you want to win any prizes. God damn it. Oh my goodness. I like how Dixie Kong's expression changes. <laughs> you win! <laughs> oh, Dragon Kong's face just says it all. You were great! I hope you'll be back again, when the prizes will be even bigger and better. Alright, good. Can I leave now? Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you know, it just feels like they threw ideas at the wall, trying to see if it can stick, and then whenever it doesn't stick, it just moves on to the next idea that doesn't stick. Not only did this game took a few steps back, I guess it just, uh... I guess it just felt kind of, uh... God damn it. Uh, uh, it feels like they didn't really truly capitalized on the game's themes more, you know? Like, I can understand maybe pulling back the curtains on the, the tone of it a little bit. Like, uh, sure, I can understand it's back to being whimsical and dark and cartoony and all that. But, like, I just wish, uh... I just wish there was, like, uh, enemies that were more threatening, you know? Like, instead of just being, 
directly cartoony, I guess, and all that. Why not have builders? Why not have workers that want to... <laughs> Kremlin workers that want to kill you. Like, Kremlings with hammers and nails, and, you know? Like, or even like, gentlemanly Kremlings that want to do shit to you, you know? It just feels like... Okay, Industrial Revolution. Where can we go from that? Where can we go on from that? Like, sure, I may not have, not have the best understanding of the Industrial Revolution and England, but I can probably feel that it's missing the... I feel like it's missing the uh, point of... Uh, the finer point of the theme itself, you know? Like, uh... Uh... It just feels like... Ooh, look at this. Look at this. You know, whereas the game had you not only in the Kremlin's territory, it also had a pirate theme. But it wasn't just, you know, pirate shit and all that. There wasn't just pirate ships and swamps and volcanoes for a reason, you know. It was also like, uh, the antagon- It was like the enemies that also, you know, wanted you dead. So, like, the game also had the- had your- had the vile forces of the Kremlings armed to the teeth with weaponry, like cannons, and, uh, swords, and, well, yeah, also their muscles, and sometimes they weren't hesitant to fucking kill you. Like, uh, there's the Lockjaws, which are not Kremlings in and of itself, but I guess, uh, hopefully you might understand what I'm getting at. Like, why not have more robots, you know? Why not have more robots? It just feels like the game hasn't, uh... It just feels like... The game doesn't have enough support for the theme... It's, uh, got going on here, you know? Like, it's pretty... It's pretty fucking cool... With the Industrial Revolution stuff. You know, it would also be just as cool, I guess? Like, uh... I guess having the cast of enemies reflect that. Also, Dixie Kong just got lost, so there's that. And there we go. Uh, like, I just wish the game nudged a little bit more in the direction of the Industrial Revolution theme. Like, you know, do that. Ah, oh, fuck! Like, uh, I guess, you know, just do that stuff. Like, hell, I wouldn't have probably minded the cartoony whimsicalness, just... Just keep the threateningness of the Kremlings. Because, like... Like... I can... Because, like... It's so complicated to describe. You can... You can have the light themes, you know. But, uh... I guess... Just without them, but without them posing badassery of the Kremlings that made them rightfully, I guess, feared by the player. Uh, truly, uh, truly, a, uh, an enemy that you have to conquer with your own wits and might. You're just, uh, it feels like going from, uh, how do I describe it? Feels like reading a comic of Cerberus, right? But uh, I've heard... I've heard the interesting things about the Cerberus comics. It's like watching... It's like reading the Cerberus comics go from... Dark and philosophical and musing on themes of Christianity, I guess, to, uh... Back to cartoony and, uh... Doing... Just, uh, shit, I guess. I guess, uh... You know, it feels like if Bojack Horseman had gone light again, like, uh, for an entire season? Without the deconstructions that made it- Without the necessary deconstructions that made the show the way it sticks out, you know? Uh, that's, I guess, what this game feels like to me. It feels like, uh... The... Sure, they pulled back the dark themes. But, uh, they also just took a couple of steps back in addition to pulling back that dark theme. And 
and uh, <laughs> uh and just uh, kind of made something whimsical and cartoony for the sake of it. Also, here's the bonus barrel. Grab 15 bananas. Here we go again. Ah, is it just me or is it RNG on whether or not these bananas show up in the same location or not? Ugh. Like, seriously, I'm pretty sure young me would have loved it so much if, like, uh... Like, you know, they, there was, like, the uh, enemies that truly followed up on the idea of the Industrial Revolution. Like, uh, the worker crumblings, uh, or even, like, uh... Just something, I don't know. Engineers! Builders! Anything, really! Also, I missed a DK coin. Fuck. But you know what? Despite all of that, this game isn't necessarily a bad game. You know? It's just that when you... It's not a bad game. It's, uh... It's just a pretty decent game, you know? So, okay, it's average. It's just when you start comparing it to uh, the stage that been... It's just that when you look at from the stage that been set forth... The stage that been set by Donkey Kong Country 1, the original Donkey Kong Country, and Donkey Kong Country 2... I can understand why it feels like a letdown to some. I can at least understand why it does feel like a letdown to some. Because it does... It does feel like they pulled back quite a bit. Also, goddammit, I'm Kitty Kong again. Anyways. Yeah, yeah like, uh... God, now that I think about it, what could it, what could have been imagined if uh, they've fallen off a bit more in the themes of uh, the Industrial Revolution? I'm just remind, just remember that this is just me assuming this is based on the Industrial Revolution and all that, uh, and from hearsay. So please don't take my word for it. But if it does turn out to be true. I guess you can take a few centimeters of my words for it. Alright. Just take my time on this level. God damn it, I don't want to go look it up again, do I? I don't I don't have to go look it up again, do I? Please tell me no. Uh, I need a sip. Hey, Dixiecom, what the fuck are you doing running in place? I'm not sure that's how you're supposed to do it, but okay. There we go. Now what? Fuck! This gets me every time. I am just a bit too preoccupied with talking. Yeah. Uh. You know what? I probably wouldn't have even minded the fact that it probably came out. That came. I wouldn't have minded that it came out near the end of the close to the end of the SNES's lifespan. As long as the game, I guess, lived up to some expectations. God damn, I fell for it again. What is the point of this level again? Ugh. Like, I wouldn't... I absolutely wouldn't have minded for an SNES game that came out near the end of the Nintendo 64's lifespan. Because after all, everyone was so focused on 64 bits that... I guess they just neglected the the 16 bits. And I can't believe it still ended up being relevant today. <laughs> I can't believe the thing about 16 bits uh, being a viable art style, or even 8 bits for that matter, is uh, really a surprising thing to uh, have it 
to remember today. But anyways, uh, yeah, I would not have minded if, uh, there was a game that came out near or close to the end of the SNES's lifespan. Because after all, didn't Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island come out near the end, near or close to the end of the SNES's lifespan? You know? You know the point? It's just that, uh, well, uh, I guess that, uh, company resources were strained and not, and the Rares A team had to move on to, uh, brighter pastures, I guess. How the fuck do I get over there? Fuck! How do I get over there? Oh! Oh, it makes sense now. Oh, it makes sense. I throw her up there. Well, now I know I need to keep, keep Dixie Kong alive for the remaining duration of this level until that point. Oh, come on. Well, like, the weird thing about this game is that, like, uh, it feels like... It, ser it seriously feels like you've taken Donkey Kong Country 1, but then mix it with Donkey Kong Country 2's good stuff and style, I guess. And also, like, uh, may have the fact that Rareware's A-Team had to, uh, move on to, uh, brighter pastures. 64 bits of those brighter pastures, I guess, in the form of Banjo-Kazooie, I think? Or something, I don't know. The fact they had to uh, move on to the Nintendo 64 probably had a serious hand in, uh, handicapping this game's development, because then they had to turn to, I guess, the decent developers that they had on their team to, uh, uh, pick up on this game. Uh, pick up on working on this game. No, stop. Stop it. And I guess some of it shows it's not bad, you know? It's not bad. It's just when you compare it to the other games. It's ju just remember, it's just when you compare it to the other games that had set the stage that, uh, I guess it starts becoming a bit clearer how this game got to be the way it is, you know? Anyways, let's save at Wrinkly Save Cave. Mm -mm. I love this bird that you found. It's an energetic little thing, isn't it? Would you like to save your game? Save. No. <laughs> Do keep a lookout for any banana birds. They're ever such a nice company. They're ever such nice company. Alright. Riverside Race. Oh yeah, now I have to start moving. Bye-bye. Alright, let's be the brashest record anyways. Why do these red bees want to kill me? No! No! Ah! Ah! You know, when Brash was speedrunning this level, was he running for his life or was he running for the sake of it? Because I can't tell if uh, it's the former or the latter. And, you know, it is pretty funny also that this game was being worked on around the same time that the Knight 007 game was being worked on. NEW RECORD! Yeah, take that, Brash. Please, get pissed off and summon the next Banana Bird Cave, please. Once I get to you, that is. Now let's do this level proper. <laughs> I 
There we go. Picking up 15 bananas. Yeah. All right, go, go, go. God damn it. Get you, get you, get you. Yes! Give me. I will take it. With every grain of salt I have. Yeah, why do these bees want to kill me again? It's not like I've taken from a honey hive, haven't I? Have I? And also, I hope I didn't need to get up there that way. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Huh. Okay. Is there anything down here? Negatory. Ah! Hey! <laughs> it all worked out fine! Bash the baddies! There we go. Well, anyways, enough chit chatting about the uh, shortcomings of this game. Now let's, uh, I guess, just focus on trying to complete it first and foremost. Oh, gee, isn't that wonderful? What the? Wait, 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 wait. Can we just, can we just stop for a second? What am I looking at? Uh... Is there a way to, for me to take a screenshot? There we go. What the fuck? How did that happen? Well, let's, uh... Okay, now it's normal. Weird. What did I just witness with my very eyes? All, all of you saw that, right? Some of you saw that. Some of you saw that glitched up... Uh, color palette on the DK coin shield, right? I'm not just seeing things. I wasn't just seeing things, right? Uh. No, now, now their, now their asses are closer to singing mine, my own ass. Second. Huh. Uh. Okay. Uh. Huh. All right. Uh. You know what? I'm just gonna call that. Oh, fuck. Uh, mistake. Restart. Alright. Uh. You know, I will. <laughs> uh. Anyways, uh, scratch that part. Uh. You know, I can't. I don't even know how the hell I can trigger these weird palette bugs in these Donkey Kong. Co and Donkey Kong Country 2 and 3 sometimes. Like, I remember the one time. Well, it's just like Donkey Kong Country 2 last year. How I somehow managed to glitch up the palette of one of the big crushes. Uh, one of the big blue crusher guys who was in a strongman outfit. To make him look yellow and red. 
like his skin was turned a weird shade of white and yellow. Uh, huh. Right. Oh, don't, don't, don't repeat that. All right. I think. Is it? No, that's not it. All right. Bees, fuck off. You know, I'm going to assume Brash was also, was probably going to be doing both. He was running for both his life and for the sake of speeding through this goddamn river. Alright. No. Ah, right. oh, fuck. Alright. Did I- Oh, no, I did not lose them. They were just waiting for me. Those patient little buggers. Alright. All right. All right, now let's try it. Oh my god, so finicky. Right. Again! That's good. All right, got that completed. Now, let's move on to the next level. <laughs> Squeals on wheels. Yep. Where have I heard that name from? Oh, I just wonder. Uh, anyways. Oh, yay, another gimmick. All right. Okay. Let's get a rerun. Okay. Uh. Hey there, Bounce. <laughs> Hello there. Nah, you're not. No, wait. No, wait. What was that line, Earthbound? Hello and goodbye. I didn't mean to take away Kitty Kong. But you know, I could say what I just said. I'll take that. Ah, <laughs> uh, god damn it. Alright. Ugh. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to need to do some. Ah. Uh... Hey, uh, buzzes? Yeah, there we go. Right. Tag teams. Tag teams! I need to do tag teams! Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, now I just remembered what I'm doing. So, let's get a little bit serious and just, uh, get a move on. No. You won't- Oh, wait, that's right. I just re I just remembered you're the end of the level. So I have to get rid of all these- rats and go down. Alright. Oh, wait. Well, I certainly found something. It was nothing. Hold on a second. Okay, I swear there was two... two of those, uh... two of those crumblings bouncing. Ugh. Okay. Anyways, do that. Uh, should I? Should I? Eh, too risky. I'm only going to. Oh. Huh. Uh. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that is a pretty good one, I guess. Alright. Oh, get rid of you. Ah, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, let's see. Alright. <laughs> How's your day been? Just... <laughs> just a little old me. How's your day been? Mine's been, uh, something, all right. I just need to double back here for a second. Uh, maybe there's something to the left. Yeah, I just wonder how your day's been thus far. Eh. Oh, there we go. Collect 20 stars, nice. Oh, carefully. Damn it! Alright, there we go. Coyote jumping! Nice. 
I love crazy jumping. Carefully. Oh, nope. Oh good, you saved my progress. Uh, let's see. Nothing of value down here. <laughs> eh, let's see. Ah, uh, well, my day has certainly been something. <laughs> uh, yeah, my day has certainly been something. Uh, just struggling with some stuff in reality. But, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure if anyone wants to uh, hear the bad stuff when I'm here to entertain and all that, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I get rid of you. Alright, uh, I think there's something up here. I'm just gonna check. Oh, yep, there is. Yeah, my day has certainly been something. Alright, collect these green bananas. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Never mind. Got a bit too overcocky. Got a bit cocky. Alright, got another bonus coin. Nice. Ah. Uh, ahem. Right. I will say, I have been through, uh, quite a lot. Also, this is platform gonna come back down. There we go. Yeah, uh, I have been through quite a lot in my personal life. Not sure if it would be necessarily safe to tell on Twitch. <laughs> because, uh, Eh, just, uh, don't want to discomfort people and all that. Uh, throw you up there. And gablooey! Bye-bye! Hmm. I always wonder where they got that background from. Alright, wait for these red fuzzes to do their thing, and... Gablooey! There we go. Fuck, I miscalculated. There we go. Alright, there's nothing up there. All right. uh, I will say, I do get a kick off uh, screaming, so there's at least something there. Hmm. Can I? No. That would've been a bit fun. Alright. Touche. Touche. Alright, <laughs> uh. right, let's see. Will attack team work? Nope! <laughs> Fuck! Okay. Uh. Yeah, let's just say I've, uh, I guess, had to struggle with a lot of things. Like, uh... Oh god, how do I describe it? Uh... Uh... Let's just say I, uh, had the circle whips and... Stuff, like, uh... Uh... <laughs> uh suicidal thoughts. And, uh... Well... Attempted suicide and hospitalization from said suicide because it involved, uh, overdosing. And, uh, I know it's quite a bit to drop on my audience. I know it's quite a bit to drop on you, I guess. But, uh, uh I've been, uh, I've been going through, I guess, quite a bit of a struggle. Oh. 
That was, that was my fourth suicide attempt, by the way. I've been through way too much. I've been through way too much to... Uh... Count, I guess. Oh, nice box. Like, I guess one of the cruxes of my... Issues lately is just, uh... Not only just the autism... And, uh, the fact that I'm transgender... As well, and non-binary... And, uh, try gender, but also the fact that, uh, I could have bipolar disorder type 2, I've just yet to get diagnosed. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. But, uh, yeah, I've been, I have been through quite a bit. Not only just the fact, uh, the issues I've described earlier, but also the undiagnosed bipolar disorder type 2, of which I may have. The only reason I, it hasn't even been diagnosed yet is because, uh, it's been, it's taking quite a bit of time to, uh, get, uh, psychiatrists to formally diagnose it. So, I'm kind of just left with my own research that, I ha that I've had to commit to. And, uh... I've kind of just been left with my own research to, uh, figure it out. And then the next part is, uh, now just trying to get diagnosed, I guess. Because I could feel it. I could feel it. Whenever I saw those symptoms of bipolar disorder type 2, specifically. And the times I've got drunk, and the times I've been on antidepressants, which didn't do me much. It just... Like, seriously struck a chord. And I just be fucking up that dude. But, uh, yeah. Just, uh, bipolar disorder, I guess. Like, it's, it's just been an important crux of my issues lately. Because... Heh. <laughs> I guess just because, uh... My mental health has seriously been deteriorating. Even with the help of, uh, uh, professionals. Even with the help of professionals. It's just still been topsy-turvy, you know? Just, uh, all over the place. And so, like, I have my moments where I'm suddenly deep down depressed. There's the other moments where it's just a where it's not the part where I'm depressed, but just the part where I'm just kind of dulled. And then there's the other bad parts, which is the hypermania, which I just probably end up going into if I'm too stressed out. Probably my brain's way of trying to mitigate stress. Twisted way of trying to mitigate the stress, because it probably hasn't been taught much on how to mitigate this excess stress. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Yeah, yeah, I've been, I've been through quite a bit, as you can tell. And, uh, yeah, it has been quite a, much, quite a bit much. And I wonder where this barrel goes to. Oh my god, with the spiders. Okay, I should not have spoken too soon. Oh, hey, what's in here? Yeah. Yeah, I've been, uh, yeah, there's just been some stuff I've had to endure. I will at least say, streaming does provide me that comfort. But then there is also the unfortunate part where <laughs> I have to deal with, uh, the part where I'm not streaming. The part where I'm not following my, doing my passions and my hobbies, like coding, video game modifications, or... Uh, talking to friends, I guess, or even just playing games and challenging myself. <laughs> uh, I guess just one real reason I love streaming is that it just lets me not have to uh, feel like cr utter crap, you know. Because, uh, 
I guess it's just that it's just been a lot. <laughs> uh, you know, I guess there is a thing for, uh, I guess there's always this interesting thing. Like how autism, people with autism are like, have just been actors all their lives because they really don't know, they were, because truth be told, we really don't know a lot about social norms most of the time until it gets too late or it's pointed out to us. And I just missed that one. It's considered developmental disorder for a reason. Fuck. Because, like, when you have autism, you have these little quirks that makes you stand out like, uh, that makes you stand out from the crowd. Very, very much. And then you get ostracized for those quirks. And so, instead of just learning to, uh, I guess, be yourself, you just, uh, learn to throw on a mask. A mask that everyone doesn't hate, or wants to resist, or isn't just disgusted by. And I realize I might have just missed a coin back there. <laughs> uh, the Kremlin that has the DK coin. Coin, not uh, anything, any coins particular. I wonder if I should go back for it or just finish the level here and there. You know what, I'll just finish the level here and there so I can... At least quit out of the level. But yeah, sometimes uh, people with autism are just bound to be actors for their entire lives because of the way they're just seen. And then, um, and then imagine that with me, and as someone who's autistic, and so someone who's bound to be very quirky and not un not grasping social norms until it's too late. And then comes the other. Parts I have to put up with, like I guess the rough life I've had, and the I guess the rough family life and personal life I've led, let alone the extremely rough social life I've had. <laughs> like hell, I was just practically surrounded by uh, toxic people by the time I was able to properly socialize somewhere and game people I could call my friends. And then you add all those issues on top of it all, even including the financial issues with uh, my family, and then you add the bipolar disorder, which I probably might have developed all along, just never realizing it in time, I guess. And, uh, you just have yourself, uh, someone who has so much to handle, and someone who had to get professional help for a long, long time. I even almost, uh, stopped pursuing professional help because I thought, you know, I was fine. Maybe I don't just maybe I shouldn't continue with it because I was fine. And then, well, it just, uh, spiraled even more out of control for me. Got even worse. Talked about... Just start... Expressing all these extremely... Disturbing thoughts... That... Got everyone... Concerned for me. Even, the uh, My teachers at my school at the time. And, uh... I guess just, uh... Even my principal. Yeah. Yeah. I guess just a weird problem is, uh, well, <laughs> as you can clearly see, I'm, uh, I'm a pretty small streamer. Uh, I've literally ended up streaming on occasions where there was no one for me to talk, no one that talked to me, so I just kind of passionately had to carry on the show. <laughs> Not that, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Not that necessarily uh, me not having a single person to talk to in my streams was a bad thing to begin with. 
because I do enjoy streaming up. Huh. Love you too, Daniel. Huh. But, uh, yeah, not necessarily the absence of followers, that was a problem for me to talk to. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. What do you do as a hobby? Just a little all me. <laughs> yeah. I just, uh, I'm just, uh, curious about the uh, things you like doing. My favorite hobbies, I guess, just includes acting. Uh, writing. Writing. There's writing. Acting. Writing. I guess. Directing? Hmm. And, uh, programming. There's programming game mods. Uh, damn it. I think I broke that. Uh, hmm. Should I go back in the level? Let's see. Ah. Uh, <laughs> ah. Uh. I'm gonna disconnect my mouse for a moment. One. And charge up my phone. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Alright, plug up this phone and go look it up. Go look up what you need to do. Hmm. Ah, uh, crap. Uh, well, since, uh, well, that phone's out of the option, I'm gonna go, I'll be right back for a moment, I'm gonna go look some stuff up. Alright, I don't really have much of a clue where the coin in this level's at, but I'll probably find my best figure though. But, uh, yeah, I've been through some rough patches. And I think another thing I also have to struggle with is, uh, I guess the reality that, uh, I've been using my friends as an emotional clutch. Because it's, uh, it's, uh, this it was made dishearteningly clear to me that, uh, well, they're not really, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. 
I guess also one M I guess the one point struggle I do have to face throughout my life is the uh that uh not only that overwhelming feeling of loneliness that's persisted with me for a long time, I guess, but also the fact that uh no matter what, I'm probably just going to have to endure some of this on my own. And I haven't been able to endure it on my own because I've endured it with my friends. And I ended up over over relying on my friends and the end result is they got tired and they just don't want to talk about my mental health anymore. Which is sad as it is. Unfortunately, well, there was really not that much I could do about that because as far as I saw, there were just people. And I could understand why they didn't want to fuck. <laughs> uh, I, under I understand why they really did not want to, I guess, talk to me about the uh, mental health stuff anymore if, uh, Oh, damn it. Right. I think that's where I need to go to get to the coin. But yeah, like, uh, understandably, like, uh, why my friends can't talk to me about mental issues anymore. So I'm just kind of, uh, left on my own to, uh, fight it. Because, uh, well, my friends are not therapists, unfortunately. They're just just as equally broken people as I am, in their own degrees. And, as much as there could be solidarity found in being broken, there's also, uh, there will also, I guess, need to be a time when you need to have boundaries. Because, because I learned, I learned about boundaries in the hardest way possible when my talking to an old friend of mine, uh, talking to a friend of mine. I'm not gonna call her by name for her safety and respect for her. But, uh, she was very sweet and, I guess, kind and supportive of what I had to, what I was going through. It was, uh, the problem started ramping up when I just relied on her as my emotional clutch. And she had her own struggles to worry about as well. Which, uh, was, uh, pretty bad, considering what I was going through. What? Wait, that's not it? Oh my goodness. Alright. Uh, is there a way to pull on the... Not that. But then, uh, when I started using her as an emotional crutch, yes, I'm willing to admit that mistake, she got tired. Painfully tired of me. And then one eventful day, whenever I thought maybe I should ask her how her day is going, and all that, she, uh, quietly left me. I just couldn't understand why at the time. It felt heartbreaking that she ended up leaving me. But in hindsight, I had nothing but understanding for her. Because, uh, well, what else could she have done to help me? <laughs> Other than just repeating words of interest. Oh. I think this is probably where I go get to the coin below, right? Can't tell. It's only hard to tell sometimes. Uh. But, uh, yes. I guess it's just one very important struggle I have to fight with is... Like, uh... Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah. So I guess the uh, important question that does need asking is, uh, well, <laughs> uh, I guess the weird problem is, well, you kind of don't know me, and, uh, well, you've known the problems I've told you, but when, when you pull, when you pull up the curtains and you get to see me in the dark, well, you have, <laughs> you honestly have, uh, probably not seen what I'm really like in the dark, I guess, sometimes. Because, like, because I'm kind of, like, admittedly a pretty problematic person of my own, sometimes. And, uh, well, I can understand why. <laughs> oh, hey, wait. Oh, no, that's not it. Right. But, uh, yeah, I can at least understand why you're saying that I just went to Rose Phil. I can at least understand why you're saying that, in hindsight. But at the same time, I'm just gonna... Oh, no wait, skip this. Uh, yeah, I can at least understand that. But at the same time, my friends, some of my friends have uh, mental health issues of their own to put up with. And so, when they have to see me, someone who is constantly breaking down in front of them, with little to no progress on their end, and, uh, when they realize... Fuck. When they realize they aren't able to do much for me, when they realize all they've just been... all they can really do for me is just, I guess, words, and not much in the long term, then... Of course, it's understandable why they'd all become tired of me. Because this is reality, after all. Not a reality show. <laughs> That's just how real life, unfortunately, works. It's, uh... Something I have to keep getting the grips with. Especially now that I'm... 18. Now that I've turned 18 back in February. And now that I... I'm an adult. <laughs> eh. And, uh... Now that the world is open to me. And all that. I kind of have to... Figure out my directions in life and... Where the hell to go and how to cope with... This... Cruel and unforgiving world that I see in front of me. I mean, if anything, it's not really black and white. It feels more gray. My friends weren't necessarily the kind of people that antagonized me for uh, having stressed them out too much. They're just people. And that's all they really are. Just they're people with their own struggles, own uh, lives to handle and their own complications. Ah! Fuck! Okay. Uh... You know, like, uh... Oh, wait a second. I think that's where I throw a barrel at, huh? Well, like, uh... Yeah, like, uh... Like, uh... It's just, uh, not so clear-cut when, uh... When and how and how you're supposed to deal with all this stress. It's just because, uh, well, part of growing up is just, uh, <laughs> I guess just part of growing up is, uh, accepting the fact that life isn't, uh, easy. It's not simple. It's very complicated. Even more so if, uh, you ended up having a pretty nasty childhood. All of that remains at that point is, uh, how you, uh, respond to the terrible childhood. So either you probably end up, uh, well, no better than you were, I guess. Or 
you end up while translating your ex your ecstatic pain into beauty at one degree or another. Yeah. It's uh, all very real adulthood situations I have to reasonably deal with and all that. God damn it! Why do you do this to me, game? Okay. Because, I mean, like, uh... <laughs> uh... I should at least have you remember that, uh... Well... I mean, of course I've endured a lot. Of course... You've probably endured a lot. Is that probably going to excuse the part where I... Probably violated my... Friends' boundaries and all that? Is that going to excuse the part where... I get to... I guess... Act bad. No. No, it doesn't. It's a uh, lesson I do definitely need to learn. Of course. <laughs> oh god, dear, they're good. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna do this so I don't waste time. Because, you know, I probably did feel like my friends were really there for me most of the time, just like what you told me, I guess. But then I uh, had some moment to think, and then I couldn't help but uh, agree with what they were saying about me. Oh. Because, like, uh... Because, like, uh... <laughs> uh... Life's very fucking complicated, you know? I'm just getting the ropes up, uh... This, all this complicated life. And, uh... Well... Now all I need to realize is... Where do I go... Where do I go with this knowledge? Oh, god damn it. Uh... Because I know... My friends aren't always going to be there for me. I know it's a lot when I'm on my own, I guess. And I know I still had a lot on my plate throughout my life and all that. <laughs> uh. Oh, God damn it. Alright. 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 Alright, uh, now, time to figure out where the fuck I need to find this coin, I bet. Uh, let's see. Love it, da Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. No, that's not it. Get that barrel. Uh. Hmm. Is this it? Wait a second. Wait a second. Ah, fuck. Wait, that's it? That's it? That's it? 
Oh god damn it. Alright. Uh I'll be right back for a couple of minutes as well. <laughs> I gotta go get some drinks and maybe read some stuff for a bit.
All right, I am back. Ah. All right, I think I just uh, realized where the coin's at. All right. Ah. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. All right. Uh, okay. That'd be nice of you. Alright, All right, I think I just realized where the coin might be at. And I need to restart this level because I just forsook any chance I had of getting that coin. <laughs> getting the coin. Okay, uh... uh All right, so, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been endearing so much, and, uh, I guess just living the life, I guess. Uh, maybe hopefully I don't lose that little bit of humility if by some silly, silly little stroke of luck I somehow end up successful in any capacity. It feels a little bit nice, I guess, being tiny, because that means you're no you're not under everyone's uh, crosshairs all the time. And you're not the uh, one kind of a name that would be shouted everywhere or something. I don't know. And probably also won't have to deal with the extreme ego boost you probably would get from it. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I just want to stream for fun and to be and to <laughs> uh, be a little bit more therapeutic about my uh, stuff, I guess. All right, so it said something about a platform. Nope. Uh, I just. I just really see the other disadvantage I gave myself by removing checkpoint barrels because not only do I have no clue whatsoever where this coin's at, I don't really have a point of reference to turn to in the event, uh... Wait a minute. Oh yeah! Got it! Got it! Uh, not only has removing checkpoints been a, <laughs> uh, not only has removing checkpoints been a bad thing for me, but I also got rid of a point of reference. All right. Anyways, I got everything in that level. Let's go to Brash. <clears throat> hey, it's the Banana Brain Kongs. What do you think you're doing, coming into Brash's cavern without asking? See that riverbank race? I ran that one minute and 15 seconds. What? You can't beat my time. I've held that record for the last two years running. You've made me so angry. I could. I will say the text moves a bit too fast. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now move that log down. And also welcome back just little old me. <laughs> Wait, get back up. Stop that, man. All right. All right. Bobbing Barrel Brawl. Here we go. Oh, yeah, the level with Ellie the Elephant. There we go. There we go. Ah. Uh, Always oodles of fun. It feels strangely therapeutic to be streaming, I guess. <laughs> because, like, uh... I don't know. It just feels like, uh... It just feels like I don't have to be left alone in the room with my brain. And... I guess, uh... My life to put into perspective. <laughs> all the goddamn time. When I'm streaming, I can at least, uh do something nice for once, which is, uh, I guess, entertain my audience.
Uh, oh wow, I am not doing this good. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I... I guess I can always understand where you're coming from. <laughs> there. Careful, careful. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right, get two. Oh yeah, coin isn't it? Get in here. Oh god, damn it! All right, uh, get over here. Get over here. Fuck. All right, get over here again. There we go. Uh, and down I go. Right. Yeah, I can only understand what you're saying about, I guess, friends who grow tired of me. Ah, oh, fuck, I got bit. And I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, let's get back into the breach. You. Yeah. All right. Oh fuck. Okay, I really fucked that one up. <laughs> All right. I'll... I'll think about it. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one of these days I can finally get my bipolar disorder type 2 diagnosed. Maybe it won't have to... Maybe I'll have to feel like I'm in this void of ambiguity uh, and uncertainty on whether or not, uh... Eh. What? Well, on whether or not I really do feel like this. Anyways, back to where I was. Alright, that's not it. Get you. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. I got what you need. There we go. Nice. Like 10 stars. Okay, I think that's really fairly simple. Oh, yes. You know, maybe I am truly responsible for my happiness. <laughs> because even if I have endured, I guess, a lot of crap for what I've been given. And don't mind this lag. Uh, because even if I have endured a lot of crap for what I've been given, I guess, uh, I guess I should at least feel like I could make something out of, uh, that void <laughs> that I keep struggling with in my in my mind. Okay. Level finished. <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, let's go do a banana bird.
All right, let's uh, I'm gonna go write this down now. Y, X, A, Y, X, oh, I hope I got that down correctly, uh, right, uh, Y, X, A, Y, X, there we go. At least a notepad's handy for something, after all. I just noticed that flag's darker than the other flags. It must be because of lighting effects. Pretty nice, I have to say. Oh, hey, a rich, my favorite boss! There, grab you. Yeah, fuck you, Eric. <laughs> right. Get you. You know, is it just me, or does he look like Pete from, uh, Mickey Mouse? This is basically like Pete, Pete from Mickey Mouse, but with, uh, two very big, uh, over, overbites. Uh, very big canines. What? What? <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. Don't die, kitty! Ah, fuck! Pete killed me. Well, demonic spider Pete. Of course. Alright, here we fucking. Here we fucking go again. And I just... Nice legs. They were so nice, I wanted to throw a barrel at him. Alright, there we go. Got you! Stop. There we go. Huh. <laughs> uh. You know, I have this weirdly... God damn it! I have this weirdly ambitious dream of, uh, I guess, uh, uh oh. Oh. I've always had this, uh, a little bit of this ambitious dream of, uh, making a video game of my own. Because I know how to program. I know how to write. I guess I know how to act and direct and lead people, I guess. Oh! There he goes. I guess just, uh, interesting problem is, it's a matter of figuring out what I want to make. <laughs> uh, because uh, making a video game isn't exactly easy. Especially with all the... hard stuff you have to do to, uh, I guess, uh, handle doing that. Pulling that off. Hmm. A patch? Oh yeah! Oh, wait. oh yeah! This is just what I needed! Hang on for just a couple of seconds, Dixie, and I'll get you a cool new tub for you to rub it up, tub. He's funky Kong, okay? Uh. Hmm. You know, if I could be honest with you, I honestly don't know what game I would like to make. Well, I do know that I could probably make a game I would like to make. Like, uh, mayhaps, uh, 2D pixelated independent game. I never can. Hang five, Dixie. Um, let's see. Oh, I can go over rocks now. Um, 
I guess I just want to uh, make a sort of uh, story with with the uh, <laughs> yeah the. I always I always thought I wonder what could happen if I made a story with the inputs of my twisted mind because I know I've endured a lot and I know I've uh, <laughs> got a pretty twisted mind. Y, B, Y, X, A. Okay, uh, this one should be simple. Uh. But, uh, yeah. Let's see. If I'm going to make a game, I at least uh, wish to make a pretty good game. <laughs> a quality game, at least. Not like, uh, I guess, like a beta serve thing. Not like a game I'll... <laughs> defend and throw my public relations under the goddamn bus. Just like, I guess, a game that's good. Something that is, uh, something that can strike a chord with people. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. B. Y. X. B. Y. <laughs> oh, this should be simple. Uh... Huh. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. And put away the notepad. There we go. Oh, yeah, there's this little secret. Hmm. Let's let's see if I can uh, race around them. Ah, if this uh, spinning around the rocks isn't so complicated. I forgot if this is how you did it or not. I, I genuinely forgot if this is how you summoned Krematoa. Or maybe it's the other way around. God damn it. Uh. Hmm. How many times do you have to keep spinning around, you rocks? Summon that goddamn volcano. Okay, let's see. Okay, I know this is looking pretty awkward. <laughs> uh, but I'm at least uh, trying to pull from memory. Huh. Ah, yeah. Yeah. I could probably give that a shot. Oh god damn it. Alright. How many times do I have to race around you rocks? Ah. Uh, yeah, I can I can understand the idea. I think I might have had an idea similar to that. Alright. Alright. I'll let you know. Alright, uh I know. I know. If I won. Ah, uh, let's see. Is it even working? Is this is is this is this method even working? Is, maybe I have to race around them a certain way. Color me impressed if I match to pull up Krematoa somehow. All right. All right. Maybe speeding up against it isn't gonna help. Maybe if I do it like this. 
Hmm. I managed to get this pulled out. I managed to get the Crematella up by pure dumb, by pure clumsy, silly little dumb luck. I don't know how. <laughs> All I know is I just rotated around in a certain way, and now I've forgotten how. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, so either I do this clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, I don't know. I'll give a loop around these walks one more time before I give up on it. Or several more times before I give up on the idea. Hmm. Maybe it's like this. Hmm. God damn it, how many minutes am I gonna spend humping my hovercraft against these rocks? <laughs> oh, that's not wrong. <laughs> but I mean, it's the honest truth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh... Alright. Maybe if I do like an S shape. Maybe. I can definitely think about how I can summon Krematoa. I can probably think about how to do it. Just that, how the fuck do how the fuck do I uh, do it? I know how I know I have to rotate around the rocks. That I know. It's just how, it's just how I forgot the motion of how to uh, do it. Uh, let's see, like this. Maybe I have to perfectly race around them. Well, let's try speeding up. Without bumping into the rocks. Okay. I know I had to do something similar in the, the final world of the game to uh, open up a gate. But at least that one was uh, less obtuse than this. Maybe race around the rocks. Maybe? I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Maybe clockwise? Oh! Oh, so that's what- So that's how I did it! That's how I had to do it! <coughs> I didn't have to race through the rocks! I had to race around it! Oh, god damn it! Okay. Uh... Let's see... I have a choice between three worlds right now. I think I have, let's see, 16 bonus coins? Hmm. You know what? It wouldn't hurt to give uh, oh, one level in Krematoa a try. Uh, let's see. Don't honk. Stop. There we go. Alright. Uh, let's see. Boomer's Bomb Shelter. Hello, boomers! The name, blowing things up, is my game! The rest of the folks have stuck me up in here! Something about me being too dangerous or something. My brothers might be happy with the those dull bear coins, but I'm only interested in the gold ones with the B on them. If you have me 15 coins, this booty will be primed and ready to blow. <laughs> Fancy giving me some coins, then? Go on, have a go! Okay, boomer. You're the one, Dixie, that's brought you one of Boomer's specials! And that's one secret level to access. With one of the shittiest secrets in the entire game. Oh, god damn it. Alright. Alright. I think there's... Yep, those are two secrets right there. Oh, wait. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna go for the leftmost one. Grab 15 bananas, huh? 
Right. Oh, shit! <laughs> I got overconfident in my strafing abilities. Alright. Again! I know I can do this! Alright. Grab. No! Don't you dare! Don't you fucking dare, platform! The timing of these webs are so off. Okay. No! Oh my god. Alright, All right, I know I can do this. I know I can do this. I know I can do this. Just, uh, very complicated. Stop. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, I have- I really have to pay attention to this one. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. No. 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 Ah, uh, no! Carefully? Uh, pick you up. Carefully. Maneuver. Around. This! There we go! Okay, got that. Got that. I got it. I got it. Alright, now time for this one. Alright, grab 15 bananas. Ugh. Huh. Uh. Oh yeah. These games were also my childhood too. <laughs> uh. At least in the 2000s, because of em emulators. I had my sisters to thank for that. No, careful. I do that. There we go! I think, in my opinion, the first two Donkey Kong Country games might be, uh, my most favorite. Probably my most favorite games as a kid. Oh, yeah. And D Dixie Kong. Okay, time for the fucking endurance round. In the form of Paracarry. Okay. Okay. At least, uh, in my opinion, the first two Donkey Kong Country games were pretty excellent. Oh my god! Stop! Oh my god. Uh, no. Oh, you motherfucker! Okay. Well, I didn't... Well, I didn't say this would be an easy... See, see, see. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, I totally did not, uh, die there. At all. <laughs> nope. Oh. I totally did not die there. Whatsoever. Alright, what's worth to the breach? This is probably one of the worst bonus barrels in the game ever. Because you have to get this pair of carry all the way to the end of the level without dying. And also, once you finally do that bonus barrel, you only have one shot at it. But the thing about this bonus barrel is, it's not easy either. Uh. Ah, fuck. Hmm. Interesting to know. That's very interesting to know. Eh, uh, yeah. Second one's my favorite as well. Feels like, uh, the game was, uh, almost excellent at, in that, at that point. Fuck. Fuck. Careful. 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 No. Mmm. Mm. 
No! 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 Oh my god! Oh! I can feel... I can feel the anger setting in a little bit. Alright, let's buckle... Let's buckle our seatbelts, kids! We're going for one hell of a fucking ride! In Stampede Sprint! Uh, for the record, I completed the, uh... I did complete all three of the games when I was a kid. No, no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare chomp off my foot. There we go. Nope, 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 Uh. As a kid, I had the unusual advantage of, uh, abusing save states whenever I got to play those games. <laughs> uh. So for me, I just kept, uh, I was a very persistent, uh, bugger whenever I got to the very hard sections in Donkey Kong Country. Ah, fuck! I scraped them! Damn it! Oh, I'm dead. Duh! <laughs> fuck! Fuck! Okay. Once more, into the breach. <laughs> uh, yeah. The... The rails levels were... an interestingly difficult. Uh level for me to deal with. Especially the tanked up trouble level. Oh god, tanked up trouble. That level. <laughs> ah! Fuck. Okay. Alright. Don't lose paracarry. Don't lose paracarry. Don't lose paracarry. Oh, I lost Barricade. Crap. Alright, uh, let's try that again, shall we? Alright. Alright, there we go. Oh my god. The hard part. You know, the easy part in uh, Stampede Sprint is just the running part. The hard part is when you have to do that on top of a scoring Barricade <laughs> straight to the end. And then doing the bonus barrel and not fucking that one up. Because if you let Paracarry get hit in that bonus barrel area, bonus barrel, uh, yeah, have fun doing this level again. Okay, there we go, there we go. Keep my eyes on both the sky and ground. Uh, how far was I from the end? Ah. Uh. Oh, hey, a steel keg. I'll at least take that. Ah. Uh. Hey, I got a cog. I got a clockwork. All right, now let's redo that level again, but better. Oh, please. Let me do it better. Gabe, let me do you one better. Especially with how insistent you are on hiding a bonus barrel behind parent carry. <laughs> Alright, once again. <sighs> okay. Nope, nope. Uh, 
I lost my rhythm there. Okay. Okay, here we go again. And then once we get that bow spell, I shall move on to... You know, how about I move on to Cotton Top Cove once I get that bonus barrel one and done with? Alright, let's do that. That level with the, uh, ghost, ghost, <laughs> the ghost guys when you're on the timer. Uh, I can at least admit, at least, uh, at least I won't, I, at least I, uh, have room for error in that level. <laughs> uh, for the most part, besides picking up some secret areas. Nah, fuck. I am dead. Starting off a bang! Starting off with a bang! Aren't we, game? Oh, we're starting off with a bang, alright! We're starting off with a really good bang! Okay. Right. Are the rats even chasing Ellie? What are they even doing? Did they just scare her ass so hard that she just suddenly decide, Oh no, now I have to run across this entire field of this! Just to get away from rats! Stop! Ah, fuck. Alright. I'm not gonna give up on this. I'm not gonna give up on this. Not yet, anyways. Alright. I'm not gonna try to give up on this. If only because I have nothing better to do, so... <laughs> Ugh. Yeah? Go <laughs> fuck. Alright, run, run, run. Run, run, run. Wow, game, you turned me on quite good. You turned my anger on quite well. Okay. 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 You know, I'd imagine Rambi would have just trampled over the rats if he was the one that was here. But he's probably off uh, at Doc DK's island, so. And guess we just gotta solve Ellie. No! No, 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 ah! Oh! Okay! Now I just have to win it. Oh god, okay, cannot fuck this up whatsoever. It's not worth it. I'm not jumping for it. I said I'm not jumping for it! Oh my god! Gimme, gimme. Oh! 
Oh. Yes. I think I just killed. I just. I think I. I think I just threw that coin off the level <laughs> without even looking. Okay. Let's save. Uh. Okay. There we go. Let's save our no game. All right. All right. Now let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. All right. All right. That's one step closer to getting <laughs> getting some good shit done. All right. Rambles bungalow. Ah, hello there, kitty. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bramble, the famed botanist. I love plants, don't you? They're so beautiful. This picture reminds me of those I can't grow anymore. Aww. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I think that's where there's supposed to be a plant growing. Alright, Contap Cove, here we go! Here we cove! What? <laughs> All right. God damn it, I didn't mean to walk out. Okay. Uh, uh, hello there, Kenny. How are you? My name's Blue. Pleased to meet you. You went up broad. Oh, I can see you haven't. Never mind. <laughs> I see a date marked in that calendar. All right, is there anything behind this waterfall? No. Oh, it's an. <laughs> I just had to say, didn't I? Oh, maybe there's a. Maybe that cave's in the waterfall to the left. Nope. Here it is. All right, let's fucking do this. All right. X, B, 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 Y, Y. Okay, that should be easy. X, B, 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 Y. Y. There we go. Alright. Put the way that never pad again. Alright. Baza's blockade. I need to get a drink. <laughs> so, Baza's blocking, huh? Ah. <laughs> uh. This is such a weird level. Just watch those, uh, creepy looking fish. Oh, hey, a warning. Ah! Fuck. I hope I don't. I hope I didn't need Kitty for her tag team up. Tag teaming? <laughs> okay. I hope I didn't need Kitty for that team up. Tag teaming. Oh. Or Dixie's cause of death is just gonna be by touching a Baza's ass fin. If that's how we're gonna go out, then so be it. Okay. Alright, do that. Alright, do that. Ah! Oh. How many times am I gonna be touching every single fish fish's ass fins before I finally die? <laughs> Alright, carefully. Oh yeah, this is the fast part. And in we go. Find the coin! 
Oh yeah, no! Right. <laughs> right! You're always gonna take me out with those goddamn bazas! No! No, no, careful. Ah, careful. Just careful. Can't... Can't get too ahead of myself now. <sighs> huh. Yeah. I would agree with you there. The irony of Sticker Plush, the Sticker Plush Symphony track, is that it was originally intended to be for water levels, but because the, uh, but because the, uh, because Rareware wanted to change up, uh, water level stuff and such, or I guess just not have a pure, not have a pure water level, um, they would wonder where, where Sticker Plush Symphony could be used at. And that's when, uh, and that's when he decided that, uh, it should be used for the Bramble levels. To help contrast with the ungodly hard difficulty of, uh, the Bramble levels. So, there's that tidbit of trivia. Don't kill me. <sighs> no! Oh! Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, good. Yeah, there's a little tidbit of trivia for you. Bash the baddies. <laughs> Whack-a-mole much? Get your ass off here, clownfishes. And get you. That's 11 bonus coins thus far. Uh. Honestly, in my opinion, I may like the water... I may like the water levels for their music and aesthetics, and their calming atmosphere. What I probably don't like much is, uh... How are they control sometimes? You know? You probably n you probably get what I'm talking about. The... Mario-styled underwater controls. The, uh... Controls where you just float down, and you press up- and you press jump to fl float upwards, but before you drop back down, and you have a pretty hard time defending yourself underwater, because, uh, there's enemies that have the high ground over you, because y your means of attacking them are pretty situational, or sometimes even dependent of a power-up. <laughs> uh. Of course. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I just kind of don't like Mario style underwater levels. Because, like, uh, I don't know. They just, uh, you're just kind of at the mercy of the game pl You're just kind of at the mercy of the level design. And maybe hoping that the game doesn't, uh, Decide to smack you in the face pretty fucking hard with uh, demonic spiders, which is uh, probably why I like the uh, water levels and Rayman Origins and Legends and uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze ten times more better than I guess these levels because, like, in those games, they like uh, they technically like re. Redead what would probably be like to be doing, like to be underwater, and so that would probably like uh, because like, uh, and that entails being able to swim in every direction, and not to mention, you can actually fight enemies back. So like, uh, like in all three of those games, you can rotate in any direction. You don't float upwards. You don't have to press jump to. Control your movement. And also, uh, you can also defend yourself whenever need be. Of course, not not always. You can't always defend yourself sometimes. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I just kind of like the underwater levels in, the, in those three games far more better than the Mario style lo lo levels because uh, because uh, it feels like they thrive on a little bit of outdated stuff, outdated designs, and all that. I guess uh, a product of its time, if you ask me. All right, get rid of you. Like I always, like I'm always of the opinion that, uh, like I just think Rayman, Rayman Origins and Legends water levels and Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freezes water levels are just far more better and actually feel like a water level. And not like a, a level where you're just kind of like a bag of pota potatoes. A bag of potatoes trying to uh, get on with their life in the water. I guess. Wait a minute! Oh. I saw you. Oh no. Oh no, no. Okay, there we go. Uh, I just have to, I do, I do still have to admit, I just, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. It's probably clear in my tone of voice and, I guess, the way I'm going about that, hell, even bluntly, that I really don't like the Mario style underwater levels, I guess. Oh, and I just took a hit. God damn it. Okay. Oh, hey! Paracarry! Nice to meet you! For the second time. <laughs> okay. Don't get me wrong, though. It doesn't mean the uh, underwater levels themselves are in and of themselves terrible. But it is sometimes the way they can... It is sometimes just the way they control that uh, makes it a little bit uh, awkward, I guess. Ooh, new follower. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you... Yeah, I think you know. <laughs> it's just the way these... Uh, oh, no, I don't have Kitty Kong. Right. Just the way these underwater levels control sometimes, that makes it a bit of a chore to get through. And, uh, you know, with these, uh, I guess, new and improved under control styles, when you're underwater, it just feels a bit more... What the? Okay. It just feels a bit more refined, you know? It feels like you can, you can actually do shit underwater. Also, there's a bonus barrel here. Collect 60 stars! Yes! I shall do that! <laughs> okay. Like, uh, I guess, you know, like, uh... Uh... Yeah, uh, yeah I have a lot of wipes with underwater levels. <laughs> I have plenty of wipes with underwater levels like that. Uh, that are awkward to control on. I mean, maybe if the game can, uh, rebalance it, if the game was balanced to accommodate for that? Like, uh, the situational ways of attacking underwater, and, uh... The situational ways of attacking underwater and, uh... Movement, even? Then, you know what? Maybe... Maybe when... Maybe I won't see it as such a problem. I guess it's just when, uh... The... Water underwater levels and it's. I think it's just when the underwater water levels make use of the fact you're defenseless as a difficulty thing that uh, it does uh, if it like get get on get on my nerves sometimes. Maybe I don't know. Oh hey, she's asleep again. <laughs> uh. To be fair, all this walking around these to all these save caves is uh, pretty straining to your legs, I know. <laughs> uh, let's see.
all creeping clasps. Right. I don't know. I just, I just like uh, the way Rayman and Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze did it a bit better. That's just me, though. If you like those underwater levels, then uh, who am I to judge? It is just my opinion, after all. And, uh... Oh, yay! This water's crawling with the fucking bloodthirsty fish! And there's claspers. Clasping onto these goddamn ropes. Okay. Anyways. Enough babbling about water levels, I guess. Here's a bonus barrel. <laughs> I have digressed so goddamn much, I think. <laughs> Okay, we have this, we have that, and, uh... Huh? Fa 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 I can go back and get more lives. Uh. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. I like the class first too. <laughs> not when they're uh not when the level design decides to make them dangerous, of course. But I, but I do like the class first. Alright, uh. Yeah, those smiles in tandem with the cut hole cut holes for the Oh no! Eyeballs. Just oh I'm so boned. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fader. Hmm. Oh yeah. I can understand that. I need to go look up Fader. Soon. Maybe, uh... <laughs> just to, uh, maybe remember what I'm, uh, reading here. I guess. Okay. Actually, wait a second. I think you're about to say- I think you're about to say father, right? <laughs> uh, uh. It's okay with the misspelling. I- I can understand. Okay. No, no, no. Careful. Careful. Uh, let's see. Come on, go down there. Oh, uh, what the? Find the coin! Oh, god damn it. Alright, careful, careful, careful. Careful with these claspers. Careful. Just be pretty frankly careful. There we go. Oh, yeah, I can do another level soon. If I wanted to. Huh. <laughs> okay. 
Got you. No! No! Oh shit, I was right there at the end. No! You know, uh, I can just go do another crown of toilet level now that I think about it. Damn it, stop getting stuck in that factory island. Come on. Just move you. There we go. Alright, Brewer's Bomb Shelter. <clears throat> Is that the cork you've got there? You know, I reckon it'll fit on the string. Stringe. Stringe. Stringe books. Pop it on and see what happens. Looks like you're going to have to buy even more of them to fit it all together. Fancy giving me some coins, then? Go on, have a go. Let's do it, brother. Get one, kitty. That's bought you one a few more specials. And that's another rock out of the way. All right, crisscross cliffs. All right, all right, here we fucking go. I love how the music just... Fuck! Uh... I love the part where I lose Kitty while I comment on the music looking out. <laughs> fuck! Bah! Fuck, crap. No. I refuse to. I need to come back. Let me back in. No. No. God damn it. Oh, I got Boris coin. <laughs> okay. You know, who has... Who has the inventory required to shoot these steel kegs? Who, who the hell has all of the... Who the hell has the time and resources and inventory necessary to fucking shoot out all those steel kegs? Like, how? How are they... I just got my ass stung by a buzz. You know what, I'm not gonna think about how painful it is to get cut up by a buzz... ...by a buzz's, uh, buzz saw. God, that would be pretty painful. <laughs> Getting cut up by the buzz saw of a buzz? You know what, in comparison to the last Kramatoa level, this is a bit of a relief. This is a bit of a relief, I'm not gonna lie. Got it. Got him. Alright, and... There we go. Dredging up this mountain. What the hell? That's where I sound a little bit like well arnished for a second. There. All right. All right. Let's go. Okay. Uh. 
hi, Claspers! Well, this isn't any better. But you know what? I'll take it. Okay. Oh, hey, Kong. Finally, I didn't spell it. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Right, come on. There we go. <laughs> uh, you know, my childhood wasn't only just composed of just Donkey Kong Country games. It was also composed of Flash games. Lots and lots of Flash games. And also the occasional Flash animation here and there. Uh, let's see. I think one particular example of uh, Flash games I do remember from my childhood is uh, Koopa's Revenge. It was uh, it was that one Flash game called Koopa's Revenge, I think, where you were Koopa and your Koopa friends were kidnapped during your birthday party, and your goal as the Koopa was to. Uh, go kill Mario, the Mario Brothers, and the, uh, <laughs> all that shit. You were, okay, so like, uh, to re-summarize, you were a Koopa, it was your birthday party, you invited your, fuck, your Goomba friends over, and, uh, when they got kidnapped by the Mario Brothers, um, you decided to get revenge on them by, uh, Killing them directly. I have no idea. <laughs> John Wick, when they kill the dog. <laughs> Do you think the script writer from John Wick got a few inspirations here and there? The Koopa, John Wick. <laughs> Hey, we got a cogwheel. That's nice. Alright, now we need to go back and uh, go get that coin. Oh, wait, didn't even get any, every secret. Crap. Oh my god, this is really testing me. Alright, that's the one and only bonus level I got. Those must be some pretty terrible red buzzes. If, uh. Those must be some pretty terrible red buzzes if all it takes is. If, uh, what's gonna take the take them out is explosives. Alright. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of these, uh, red buzzes just in case. They definitely put these here for a reason, after all. No. Don't you dare. There we go. Get rid of you. I get the KO, the knockout. Let's see. I'm gonna sacrifice Kitty to the B God. <laughs> okay, there was nothing down there. Oh, shut up! <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Is there something up here? Uh... Fuck! There we go. There's something down here. Nope, that's a negative. Alright, I'm already getting near the end of the level because I'm able to spell cog. No. No. No! Don't you dare, springy sprungy bastard! 
All right. Oh, there it is. There aren't two there again. All right. Uh, all right. What is next? I ponder. Maybe I have to bust this boy open. Oh, there's something over there. Damn it. Okay. I wonder if I should just switch it to, uh... Oh, wait a second. Oh, yep. Nope. Alright, I know I can fly over there. Hmm. I definitely know I can fly over there. Oh, yep. There we go. There we go. Bye-bye. All right. And that's two bonus coins. Nice. Nice. N-I-C-E. Nice. Ah! Wait, that was just a barrel? All right, well, that doesn't matter. We got everything. We got everything we needed, so let's just save. How do you like my new hairdo, Dixie? I've just had a new banana rinse. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you bump into Cranky, tell him to stop wasting his money on Swanky's bonus games. Okay. Okay. Nice arena. Alright, let's go back to Con Top Cove. Nice arena. Alright. Oh yeah, I got everything I need on creeping clasps. Clasps. I don't know if I got the DK coin yet, but uh... Well, I guess I'll just have to find out. All I know is... What?! <laughs> what else could I do? Fuck! I played Super Metroid then, friggin'. I played a lot of Metroid. <laughs> well, it's a hyperbole, but of course I did. Wait a second. Is that? Oh, that's an explosive. That's a blast barrel. That could have taken me to the bonus barrel. Huh. <laughs> no! Ah! 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 No, no. Careful, careful. Okay. Thanks to these, uh, Kremlings aren't bouncing. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, oh, there's the steel keg. Get over here. I'm gonna grab you with my hair. <laughs> to be fair, there's also a trap death from she and the Princesses of Power. Well, she grabs things with hairs, but not necessarily people. Well, <laughs> it's a lot more fantastical than it sounds, alright. <laughs> alright. What? What? <laughs> 
don't know. I don't think anyone dyes the hair in She-Ra and the Princesses of Power. Tracker Barrel Trek. Oh yeah, these little buggers. And also this. Well. <laughs> yes. Um, grab you. Alright. Oh yeah, took two of them down. Nice. Okay, uh, let's see. Hmm, I wonder if there's anything over here. Oh! <laughs> ah, memory served me correct! Collect 70 stars! Yes. Come on, Regan, stop referring to the safe file I named it. You're referring to the save file. Hi, Dad. I'm no. <laughs> Hi, no. I'm dead. <laughs> Get it, Dad jokes. Get it, Dad jokes. Up. <laughs> yes. So you, so you did want to hear it, huh? <laughs> oh god, do it. Those are some pretty fucking weird dad jokes. Dad jokes are pretty fucking weird, I have... Well, not lie. No, 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 no! Okay, careful. Okay, carefully. Oh, hey, three up. Uh... Oh, hey, 69. Knocked you not up, off. I knocked you off. Wait, why, why allow me to turn to Ellie? <laughs> I wonder, I wonder. What's over here? Oh, that's the sound of progress. <laughs> yes, you can, Regan. All right. Oh, I get why they will want me to do Ellie. I remember why they wanted me to do Ellie. Bash the baddies! I didn't do bashing. I got bashed. I didn't do bashing. That's for certain. Oh, jeez, that's dark. All right, let's not get our ass hand literally handed to us by these insects. I didn't even think I would be saying that, but here we are. Bah! Now, what the hell was going on with the advertising behind this game, I wonder? Like, why do they advertise Kitty Kong so fucking much over Dixie? I mean, this is her own game, damn it! <laughs> no! Fuck! Fuck! Oh, I fucking slipped! Okay. Careful. There we go! Didn't even need to take out the bomb one. Alright. This is like, what? Try four? Fourth try? I'm assuming this is the fourth try. 
All right, there we go. Oh my goodness. No, that wasn't so hard now, was it? Okay. Careful. Uh, right, do that. All right. Holy fucking shit. I did not sleep good last night. I can I can say that for certain. Maybe I was watching a lot of Bojack Horseman with my brother. Maybe a lot. There we go. Fucking buzz. Alright, got that. Ooh, up. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Oh, wait, never mind. Uh... Don't. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, these, uh, blue big fucks that are for some, <laughs> for some reason look very, very wrong. All right, uh, all right. <laughs> ah, yeah. Fuck! No! Ah! I thought I was dead that time. Ah. Yeah, I could probably understand that. Hmm. Fish food frenzy. Oh, great. Time for a favorite level. I'm excited for it, aren't you? Yeah, but with a twist. Now there's a fish following me. And it wants me to feed it. And if it gets hungry, too hungry, it'll want my ass for dinner. Literally, not metaphorically. There will be bite marks all over my ass. You just watch. No, don't eat that! That. Okay, eat all these fucking clownfish. Just eat all these fucking clownfish. Just don't eat the... Grab <laughs> right, 15 bananas. Okay, good. We'll not have to worry about feeding a blue fish. Holy crap, I need to bake myself a cup of cappuccino and wake myself up. Holy shit! Oh, right, right, I still have a fish following me. I don't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't eat that! <laughs> the fish is thinking, I've got your back. Never forget! <laughs> no, don't eat that! Okay. I keep saying no many times. I feel like I've named my safe file very accurately. Oh no, he's going red. Okay. Oh, now he's gonna eat me. <laughs> okay, got that. <laughs> Alright, I think one of these secrets is, uh... Oh, fuck. Well, oh god, oh god, oh god. Give me a clawfish, give me a clawfish. Alright. Yeah. 
Maybe they're loaded with serotonin. Maybe that's what keeps them happy, is the serotonin these clownfishes must be loaded with. And they look like clowns. Oh no. Well, bear fine food, bear fine food, bear fine food, bear fine food, bear fine food. Ah! Oh, holy fuck. I am dead. Alright. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, indeed he does. Indeed he does. Alright. Oh my. Okay. Just taking some stretches. No pressure. Oh. Alright. I'm feeling sleepy, so what I'm going to do is I'll be right back. I'm gonna go cook myself a cup of cappuccino and have a nice, nice, uh, wake me up. Alright. So. BRB.
Okay, I am back. Finally. <laughs> okay. Just have myself some nice uh, food. And uh, I brewed my cappuccino. Anyways, let's get back into fish food frenzy. Okay. Alright, eat the clownfish, please. I break down one bonus level, so I won't have to worry about hunting that one down. Alright, do that. Don't. Oh, god, do it. Oh, hey, even that's a. <laughs> the poor thing even co coughs. The poor thing even coughs when it eats the uh, spike things. Fuck. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot where that second bonus room's at. Maybe, uh, maybe, I, maybe I'll find it soon. Hopefully. Stay behind me, little fishy. Little fishy companionato. Little fishy companionato. Companionato. Alright, don't fucking kill me. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, god damn it. Don't. Oh no. There. There's a the clamfish. I got killed by the clamfish again. Okay. Once more into the breach. Shall we? Alright. Oh my goodness, I am so tired. Right. Oh god damn it. Oh no. Eat that. Yes, that's good. That's good for you. That's good for you. Okay. Oh. No, no, no! <clears throat> Well, here's a clownfish for you. <laughs> ah, ah, oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. No, don't eat that. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. Oh, you didn't, oh, you didn't hurt me. Thank you. Good. Thank the gods these clownfish are not fucking me over. And also thank the gods for being spiteful. Spiteful old buggers. No, 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 no. There we go. Alright, I think it's down one of these pits. If I recall correctly. Oh, shit, I missed the K. What the fuck were you doing, pal? What the fuck were you doing, pal? You were trying to eat one of those spiked shells things. No, don't do that. All right. All right. Oh fuck, I am so boned. Okay, yep, that was not right there. Oh my goodness. It's so hard finding the second bonus barrel, let alone remembering where it's at. Okay. Okay, I know that. Oh god, do it. You masochistic. Say they're masochistic fuck. Scratch that. <laughs> that never happened. Okay. Oh hey, we're back down to 69. Probably nice, I guess. Oh 
Okay. Keep him steady. Keep him steady. I said steady. Not into not into the line of being struck by enemies. Alright, carefully. Like a series of threats that has to be negotiated carefully, or else uh, bad things will happen. Very bad things will happen if they are negotiated carefully. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Got that, got that. Hmm. Nope, nope. Oh, nope. Is it down there? Well. Oh, that's not good. Please indulge yourself in this clawfish. Please don't bite my ass off. Pixie Kong's ass and Gay Kong's ass are currently not for service tonight. Especially not to, uh, piranhas. Okay. No, don't. Careful. Looks very enthusiastic about eating these uh, clown fishes, huh? <laughs> Alright, what's down here? Negative. There's nothing down there. Alright, eat this clownfish before you eat my ass off. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on with the camera? You know what? I don't care if I'm gonna die. I at least want to know where everything's at. Alright, good. Careful. Okay. Uh, please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, friend. Oh, thank you, like, my, my kind friend. Not so kind. Here, here's a clownfish as a consolation prize. And my ass is toast. Alright, where the hell is this bonus stage at? Gotta be here somewhere, isn't it? Alright, it's not in here. And I'm probably going to die soon. <laughs> well, it's an offer I can't refuse. I guess I'll have to take it. Unless I want Diddy Kong's a Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong's ass under my bed sheets. Well, shark teeth fight. Okay, that's pretty dark. <laughs> that is darkly comedic, I'm not gonna lie. Keep on going. Keep on going. Right. Okay. Oh. Alright. Hmm. Alright. Now, where the fuck can the second bus stage be at? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Actually, wait. I checked down there, didn't I? That's not there. <laughs> oh my. Ah, fuck! Oh, fuck! Well, kitty, it's just you and him. Just you and him. You know, I don't even know if I've gone far enough in the level to determine. Uh. To determine if, uh. I even know where that second bonus barrel at. Oh, Jesus, the hiccups. Oh, my goodness, the hiccups. Uh, let's see. 
here. Ong. I love my Ongs. Sounds like a sounds like a cereal brand, I'm not gonna lie. No! Oh my god! Alright, eat this clown paper as a consolation prize. What the Oh, that's a visual error. I'll just ignore that. Yep, I'll just ignore that. There we go. There we go. Wait a fucking second. Oh, oh, no. There we go. There it is. Welcome back, just little old me. Uh, you finally found the second bonus barrel. And I'm killing these clownfishes with my buddy. Seems really loved. And enjoy it. Eat up! Alright. And back to this. Back we go. I hope I don't have to tag team for that. Because I just lost Dixie. There we go. Oh, I just did some water skipping. Oh, uh, yep. I need a tag team for that. Fuck. Well, that's alright. I can always come back, I guess. Alright. I think I just skipped an animation on the overworld, but, uh... Sorry about that. Alright. I hope that doesn't break anything. Alright, this is not going to be an easy level to keep anything alive in. Oh! So if it doesn't finish, it just restarts. Huh. That's nice. Wait, wait, oh no, we're, we're so boned. How did you, how did you? Oh my god, alright. Eat. Thank you. Don't eat. Do eat this, however. No. Ah, fuck. No! And of course you ate that! Of course you ate that! Okay. Oh, now he's gonna eat it. Yep, he ate it. Oh, this is so goofy, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Carefully. Carefully. Just carefully maneuver. Our cons. Ah. Uh, oh, now we're dead. Oh, no, we are so screwed. Just eat up! Damn you! Oh no. Uh, here, here, have some clownfishes, please. I beg of you, have these clownfishes. Okay. Pick up 
the end. Oh, I'm on board, all right. Uh, that never happened. That never happened. Damn it, that happened. All right, there we go. Nice. Eat up. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah, uh, crap. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, jeez, uh... Alright, you take care of those heartburns, alright? Okay. No! Oh my god! Okay, start, turn. Yep. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, just eat up. Restart that timer. Restart the hunger timer. There we go. I love how he just deletes the enemies of existence. Well, I guess I have to uh, actually show that uh, he actually is eating them. Long. Oh no. Eat, 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 eat. Okay, there we go. There we go. And out we go. There we go. There we go. All right, Squid Showdown. Oh, hey, you. Nope. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Okay. Uh. No! Oh, he didn't even need to do it. I did it. Oh my god! Ah! Oh. Okay. Got you. Oh my god, with these slopes! These slopes, goddammit! No! Oh my fucking god. Okay. I got this. I got this. I have this covered. I'm 
fine to me. Sure. I, uh, do everything in my power to, uh, do shit, I guess. Do that. Alright, get going. Get going. This is so weird. What the hell is, uh... What the hell is this guy? Oh, really? Nah, I just look bored in me. Okay. Got you. Yes. Did it. Oh, I did it. Oh, I did it. All right. Well, that was the that was Con Top Cove done. Hmm. All right. Let's do Mc. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. That's right. Uh. Let's, uh, go save, shall we? Have you seen Cranky on your travels? He ate all my fresh cookies! Alright. Let's save my no file. When crossing the jungle, remember to look left, right, and then up for falling monkeys. Will do. <laughs> I will do. Ring click Kong. Okay. No. I'm sorry, but no. Alright. Welcome back, just little old me. <laughs> I, uh... Kick the uh, squirt's ass while you were away uh, dealing with your heartburn. And now I have uh, gotten one essential piece of the next boat. And now time to do the next world, Makanos. Oh my goodness, I am so tired. Okay. Alright, I think I can stand to do, I guess, uh, one or two more levels, maybe. Maybe. I think I could probably stand to do one or two more levels before I call it quits for this stream. Back. Probably I didn't need... Hmm. Okay. Ah. Mm. I got this! I got this! I am totally not fucking tired. Okay. Go, go, go. Oh, oh. Okay, just trying to, just trying to maintain some, uh, focus, I guess. Holy oh, crap, this is, this is something, huh? Careful. All right, nothing over there. Okay, I'm positive now. I'm concerned by the, uh... Bah, fuck. I'm concerned by the lack of a bonus barrel, question mark. Oh, fuck. I think that was a bonus barrel. Oh, crap.
Okay. Focus. Focusing. These goddamn elves, motherfucker! Why are you launching a molten hot lead at me? Anyways, why are you launching that? You know, I just wondered. I just started wondering that. And how could you have that many reserves? To be able to fire that many. No, no. Oh, there we go. Holy shit. Bash the panties! There we go. There we go. Nice. Very nice. Ugh. Oh, hey, 69! Also nice. Oh, shit. Alright, I'll come back to that whenever I come back to this level next stream. Okay, good, good, good. Nope, 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 all no. Okay, got it. Okay. Oh my goodness. You know what? I wish I could continue this. I wish I could continue the stream for so much for longer. Oh god. But I'm so tired. I did not sleep well last night. I think I've expended much of my energy playing this game. Oh. Heh <laughs> Uh. Oh my goodness. That's very funny. All right. I think I've uh, spent up my energy streaming this game. And so, now I believe it's a good time for me to go and rest. My weary body. Okay. Four hours. My goodness. <laughs> that was a pretty nice four hours. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just a little on me. Thank you. I, uh, wish you a nice rest as well. Uh, let's see. Well, this has been decently fun so far. Even if uh, this is the second time I've been trying this. <laughs> oh my goodness, no wonder I did this at like, what? 12, 11 p.m. last time I did this game? Streamed it to friends? Alright, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind.
Let's see. All right. <sighs> well, I don't believe I have much more to say, other than I wish all of you a nice day. Hopefully you have a nice cup of coffee or espresso. Or cappuccino, even. And, uh, this is me, Ligurda, signing out. We shall pick back up on this. Maybe in the next. Maybe in a, another stream or two. Give or take. <laughs> uh, wish you well, too.